And welcome back to Social Media Journalism. This is Robert Quigley, the professor. We're going to talk about building an audience, which is kind of important if we're going to be putting content out there and trying to engage people. We actually have to have people who are paying attention to us. Here's how to do it. So you can buy followers, right? Well, the little bird's telling you you can. You can buy Twitter followers. Yeah, don't do it. It's not a good idea. You're not going to get followers who actually care about anything that you are posting. Uh, in fact, I'll give you a little uh, story here. Uh, when I was a social media editor at Statesman, somebody from corporate sent me an email saying, hey, why does the El Paso newspaper have far more Twitter followers and Facebook uh, likes than uh, the Statesman does? That doesn't make any sense. They have 40,000 and you guys have 12 or whatever it was at the time. And uh, I was puzzled too. So I called uh, the person in El Paso who's in charge of social media. And he at first was like, yeah, isn't it great? And then after a while he goes, oh, I got to tell you the truth. Uh, our marketing department paid for uh, fans and likes and followers. And uh, it turned out most of them, as in more than 90% of the ones they paid for, were people in India who could care, who could not care less about anything that was going on in El Paso, Texas. So uh, that was a waste of money. And just because you have a bigger follower count uh, doesn't do you really any good. Uh, you can buy Facebook fans too, as you can see this from this nice little ad. All you got to do is have the right amount of euros, and you can get, uh, you know, for a limited time, some uh, seven, up to 5,000 uh, Facebook guaranteed likes. Um, don't do it. Bad idea. Again, you're not going to get people who care about what you're doing. So how do you do it? Well, there's no get-rich-quick scheme for social media. Sorry. However, these tips will help build you an audience. Uh, you need to engage people, and you've probably heard this before from me. I'm going to say it again. That is the way to get people interested and to build an audience is to just engage them. So you find interesting people, and you join in the conversation after listening to them. I want you to think of this like a giant cocktail party. If you're at a cocktail party, you don't come in the door, run up, elbow people all the way, and say, I have something important to say, and just ignore you know, everybody getting annoyed by you and just start talking. Uh, instead, you would walk up to a little group of people who are having a nice conversation. You would listen, and then you'd add to the conversation. That's how you should do social media as well. Also, you should share other people's work. Uh, that's the best way to get yourself noticed, I think. So if you're retweeting somebody or favoriting their posts, they're going to see that, unless they have way too many followers. But somebody with a medium-sized following, uh, even in the tens of thousands, will likely see it when you actually share their stuff. Uh, they will maybe follow you. Uh, maybe the people who actually follow them will see you, that you interacted with them and will follow you as well. That is definitely the way to grow the fastest, especially on a personal account. If you start actually interacting with people, people will see that and will follow you. One thing I would really strongly suggest you do, both with social and, and, and with your personal accounts, is to go favorite tweets that you really like. Doing that will get you noticed. It, they will most likely follow you back, especially with this really strong Twitter presence that you have going now. Uh, so definitely uh, favorite tweets that you like. Don't just favorite everything at random, but you know if you see something you like, favorite it and share great content. This seems like such an obvious thing, uh, but it's probably the most important thing. And if you want to have a big audience, you have to have good content there for them. Uh, if you're sharing a bunch of junk on your Twitter stream, people will not follow you back. They won't care. You can promote your social links. Uh, this is kind of a, uh, a roundabout way to do it, but if you have uh, your social media on your digital portfolio, including uh, maybe your latest tweets, uh, that helps. And if you put it in your uh, email signature uh, instead of your physical address or something that nobody's ever going to send anything to, uh, that's, that helps too. So do everything you can. Put it on your business cards too. And you can buy Facebook and Twitter ads. In other words, not uh, followers or likes, but you can uh, buy placement on, uh, on their ad platforms uh, through that promoted content that you've seen before, both on Twitter and Facebook. It's kind of expensive, though. Uh, big brands do it. Um, that's how somebody like Coca-Cola can gain you know, a million followers overnight, is by spending millions of dollars to make it happen. Uh, but it's, it's too expensive for, uh, for my blood. All right, so driving traffic is often pushed as the main reason to use social media, and that's the main reason for building a big audience often. And those who push for that will be disappointed. Uh, even places that have big followings, the traffic is relatively low from uh, the efforts that a social media editor makes. 
That's not to say that traffic from social media is low. In fact, it's usually very high, but that's organic traffic. So that's, uh, you know, Aunt Frida seeing something interesting on your site and sharing it with her Facebook friends and then somebody from there sharing it with their Facebook friends. That's how the traffic comes. It doesn't come from the things that we're sharing on our pages, at least not in giant amounts. However, it can be really big on breaking news. And if you completely ignore it until breaking news happens and then you go, hey, we're here and we want you to pay attention to us now, uh, you're not going to do as well. You have to uh, every day engage your community. And then when breaking news happens, they will turn to you. And it's great for building steady traffic to a new site. So if you've always wanted to do that Austin music blog uh, and you're worried that nobody will read it except for, you know, your roommate and your mom, uh, use social media to your advantage. You will build in a nice little crowd uh, if you're doing it well. Uh, you still have to have that great content, though. Driving traffic should just be one reason for using social media as a journalist. Uh, the others that I always bring up is branding and marketing of yourself and of your organization, and that it's a fantastic journalistic tool. And uh, you'll definitely uh, see that as you go along and as you get more involved into social media as a journalist, just how helpful this is for doing your job. And if you try hard to push traffic, people will notice and it will turn them off. So don't say, oh, please retweet me. Uh, don't say, you know, like this, if that, you know, that kind of thing. Instead, just share great content and be very authentic on social media and people will respond to that. And that's it. It's quiz time. See you next time.